Hello students, uh, uh, financial management for fourth, third semester BCom, right? So for third semester BCom and fourth semester BBA, we have a subject called financial management. See, in this financial management, we have five units. So let's not come from the first unit and second unit. Let's come from the third unit. The third unit is, says about financing decision. What is that? Financing decision. See, in financing decision, we have a topic called as leverages. We have a topic called as leverages. See, there are three types of leverages are there. One is operating leverage. Second one is financing leverage. And the third one is combined leverage. Operating, financing and, you know, combined leverages. So, more than leverages in the leverages now you have to how to calculate how to calculate leverages now I will show you one performer with the help of the performer okay we will try to understand how to calculate leverages okay first uh, computation of leverages computation of leverages First, uh, what we do, we take the uh, particulars and amount. Particulars and amount. Let's have a, a proper format so that we can understand in a proper way. Okay. So first, generally, we take uh, sales. What is this? Sales. Sometimes in, give a, in a given question, you will be given number of units sold and selling price per unit. That will be given to you. So what we do is number of units sold into selling price per, per unit. We will get the sales. From this sales, we should minus variable cost. What is this? Variable cost. Sir, what is variable cost? See, variable cost is nothing but the cost which varies. The cost which varies when you produce more units or less units. Say for example, if you want to manufacture 100 units, you need 100 kgs of raw material. If you want to produce 200 units, how many kgs of material you need? 200 kgs. See, if you produce 100 units, you need 100 kgs of material and 1 kg material is 2 rupees, then you need 200 rupees of expenses for raw material. If you want to produce 200 units of material, you need 200 kgs of material and per unit will be 2 rupees only and you need 400 rupees of expenses. Am I right? So that means variable cost always which varies, which varies when you produce more number of units or less number of units. So now, what are the variable expenses? What are the variable cost? Cost is nothing but expenses. Yes, sir. So what are the variable expenses? Generally, we have raw material, that is direct material or direct raw material. We need the labor. We need the, some direct expenses. Am I right? some of the variable overheads what is this overheads. variable overheads all these put together we call it as variable cost if you deduct variable cost from the sales whatever you get that's called as contribution what is this contribution, contribution. from this contribution we deduct Fixed cost. What is this? Fixed cost. Now I have to explain you. I have to tell you what is fixed cost. Say cost which remains fixed. The cost expenses which remain fixed, which remain same. If when you produce more number of units, when you produce less number of units, right? It will be remain same. What are the such expenses? Rent, Rent. salaries, Rent. Rent. Salaries and printing, stationery, all these are all, and depreciation on machineries, 
or uh, assets like I say, plant and machinery, all these will all remain same. If you produce more or less, the expenses will be remain same. Such expenses are called as what? Fixed expenses or fixed cost. So now, if you deduct fixed expenses or fixed cost, what we get is called as EBIT. What is this? EBIT. Sir, what is EBIT? EBIT is nothing but earnings before interest and tax. You got it? Earnings before interest and taxes. So, this is also called as an operating profit. This is also called as an operating profit or EBI. From this earnings or profits, we deduct what is that? First, interest. Generally, which interest you deduct? See, when you borrowed a long term loan or when the company is issued any debentures or when you have taken any debt from any borrower, okay, any lender, then every year you need to pay interest. Am I right or no? Yes. So that interest we have to deduct it here. If you deduct interest from this, what you get is called as EBT. What is this? EBT. That is earnings before tax. Right? Yes, sir. From this EBT, what we deduct? We deduct tax. If you deduct tax from this, see generally tax will be calculated on this EBT. Understood? Generally tax will be deducted from EBT. EBT is also called as with PBT, that is profit before tax. Understood? So from this EBT, if you minus the tax, whatever you get, that's called as profit for shareholders. Am I right? Profit for shareholders. There are how many types of shareholders are there? Two types of shareholders are there. Who are they? Equity share capital and preference share capital. Am I right? So equity and preference. From this profits, to whom we have to pay first? We have to pay to the preference share capital as a dividend for them first. Right? So from this, I deduct preference share dividend. Preference share dividend. If you deduct preference share dividend, whatever the profits available after deducting preference dividend from this total profits for shareholders, this profit will be for whom it will be? Profits for whom? Lie loudly. Equity shareholders. shareholders. Am I right? See, this is the profit which is available for equity shareholders. Right, sir? Yes, sir. So, this is the format for calculation of leverages. Now, let us keep some formulas for calculation of leverages. Okay? This is so simple chapter, you will get 6 marks for guarantee. 6 marks for guarantee. And this pro forma is compulsory, you have to remember for the entire of this chapter. Okay? Now, let us take first one. Operating leverage. What is this? Operating leverage. Sir, what is the formula for operating leverage? See, formula for operating leverage is contribution divided by earnings before interest and tax. Contribution is equals to contribution divided by EBIT is the formula for it. The second one. Financing leverage. See, financing leverage formula is EBIT divided by EBT. 
earnings before interest divided by earnings before tax got it and the third one is combined leverage combined leverage how do you get the combined leverage whatever the answer you get it from the operating leverage that should be multiplied with the answer with the financial leverage got it yes sir understood yes sir so this is the proforma for calculation of leverages so for this you will get 6 months for carrying understood yes sir copy this